Welcome back guys, Ben here helping you earn more, spend less, and invest the difference. Today we're going to be talking about a side hustle business idea that can easily net you a quarter of a million dollars a year or more. And the best part is that as far as new business idea goes, this one has a relatively low startup cost and almost no ongoing expenses. So once you've recovered your initial money from your startup, the rest is almost all pure profit. But before I dive into the details, if you find this video useful, be sure to subscribe for more straight talk about a wide variety of money topics, information to help you financially engineer the type of lifestyle you've always wanted. All right, so enough of that. Let's get straight to the good stuff. So today we're going to be talking about how to start your own party slash entertainment business. A lot of people spend big bucks throwing children's birthday parties, annual business picnics, or corporate retreats. And to show you how much money is available, let's just jump over to the website bizbuysell.com. This is a website where business owners can sell their existing businesses to other people. This can sometimes be a good option for fledgling entrepreneurs as they don't want to have to take the risk of starting up a brand new business and they can instead simply purchase an existing business with an established track record of being profitable. So this is an existing party style business for sale near where I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now this business is for sale for $200,000, but don't worry, we can start our own business exactly like this for just a tiny fraction of that cost, probably somewhere in the $20,000 region. But what I really want to show you from this is if we scroll down on the website is this company's previous year's revenue. In 2019, this company made $266,000 in profit. 2020 was 125,000. And so far in 2021, it's generated $98,000 in revenue. Now, obviously the last year or two has been less than ideal for the party business due to health concerns, but even at that, these reduced numbers for the last two years or so, this business is still generating north of six figures annually. And when things finally return to something that resembles normal, these revenue numbers could easily skyrocket back to what the owner made in 2019, which was 266,000. Now earning a quarter million dollars or more for a part-time gig like this that requires only $20,000 in startup costs is absolutely insane. Now, if you wanted to buy this company for 200,000, you could certainly do that and it would come with all the equipment, the website, the company name, etc. But realistically, we don't need any of that stuff because we can just recreate this company for a fraction of the cost that it would take to buy it. We could duplicate this company for roughly $20,000 on the high end down to a couple thousand dollars on the low end and then slowly start scaling up and start adding more and more party options as our budget allows. This company's primary feature is its mobile gaming trailer, but it also offers a wide variety of party accessories like mobile laser tag options, Nerf Wars, bounce houses, etc. So first off, let's check out their actual website. And as you can see, it's a pretty generic website and you could easily just pay someone on fiverr.com one or 200 bucks to make a website that looks much more professional than this. If we go on over to their birthday options, we see that renting their mobile gaming trailer costs a whopping $399 for a two hour party. And each additional hour costs 99 bucks. So if someone wanted to hire your business for an afternoon four hour birthday party, you could earn a whopping $597. And how much work did you actually have to do to earn that 600 bucks? I mean, besides the startup cost that all you would need is just to drive the trailer over and dump it off and then come back four hours later to pick it up. How about a two hour laser tag event? $374 and once again, each additional hour is $99 or get one of their deluxe packages like a three hour laser tag and video game combo for 624 and an extra $150 per additional hour. Or how about a bounce castle for a birthday party? 
This 15 by 15 bounce house can be rented for $185 for four hours and more expensive bounce houses for roughly 300 bucks for the same four hours. So this is some crazy prices that you can charge customers. And besides the initial costs of buying these supplies, there's gonna be almost no ongoing business expense other than gas driving the stuff to and from the event and a few small repairs here and there. So how can we replicate something like this and get started for ourselves? Well, first off, we need a website. And if you're not a tech person, like I said, you can simply hire someone from popular outsourcing websites like Fiverr.com for maybe a hundred bucks or so. Amazon sells bounce houses for between $250 to $1,700, depending on the size and complexity of the bounce house. Now, if we're charging between $185 to $300 per four-hour session like this other company was doing, then it will take renting out these bounce houses roughly two to four times each to repay those initial startup costs. After that, it's pure profit. You could get some life-size yard games like this Jumbo Connect 4 game for roughly 170 bucks. Throw in some Jumbo games of Jenga for 50 bucks or simply buy some two by fours from Home Depot, cut it and make it yourself. Maybe a couple sets of cornhole or any other outdoorsy type of game that you can think of. Even something like this air hockey table for 400 bucks. You could easily move this and set it up in someone's backyard using an extension cord. And I mean, who doesn't love air hockey? Point being, there is a lot of gaming options that you can give them. The more options you have, the more likely they are to use your company and to recommend you to their friends. And by offering them many different options, you can easily bundle some of these products together into deluxe packages and charge them a nice premium. And the best part is, it's not much more effort to set up five games than it is to set up just one game since the drive time to get to the site location is probably going to be your biggest time sink. The actual setup wouldn't take that long at all. Now let's look at their laser tag options. These guns they're using look super cheap and you can find similar sets on amazon.com right now for about a hundred to a hundred and fifty bucks for a set of four. So if you bought a couple of these sets enough for let's say between 12 to 20 people to all play at once, that might cost you something like 500 bucks total. Maybe you buy some pop-up hunting blinds for roughly 100 bucks each to provide some cover and you're all set. Now onto that gaming truck, which is easily gonna be the most expensive item on our list. But honestly, it's still not too bad, especially if you take a little bit of time to find a cheaper trailer for sale. But let's just assume you pay full price. Here's a 20 foot trailer, brand new, built in 2021, for $59.99, or a slightly larger 24-foot version for $6,200. Add in a custom wrap on the outside with some gaming graphics, the name of your company, and the telephone number. This particular website offers full trailer wraps starting at $18.97, or you could save a little money and do it yourself and just pay the cost for the vinyl wrap itself and install it yourself. This isn't a difficult process, especially considering everything on these trailers is going to be a box with nothing but nice straight lines, no curves or edges or intricate cutting like regular car wraps would require. But let's just say that you pay full price for the trailer and you have the vinyl wraps professionally installed. That brings our trailer and wrap combo to about $8,000. Add in a handful of TVs, gaming consoles, a generator, a good wireless internet receiver, some padded bench style seating, and some LED light strips for some mood lighting, and you're all set. You could probably make this trailer all in for, I don't know, $15,000 all in. That would easily be the most expensive item on our list, but even with that, we could probably still get everything we needed, the trailer, yard games, laser tag, bounce houses, and everything else for right around $20,000. Throw in an Oculus Quest set for some virtual reality experience. Virtual reality is still a pretty new concept and the overwhelming majority of people haven't tried it yet. A few hundred bucks for the system and a handful of games and this will serve to be a hit for every party as everyone will be dying to try it out. Now if it costs roughly $20,000 in startup costs and 
Even in these hard COVID times, the business was still generating over six figures annually, then we should expect our initial investment back in just a few quick months. And after that, it's nothing but pure profit. Additionally, I'm not a tax professional, so I have to throw out the standard disclaimer and tell you to consult your own tax professional. But since this money is going towards equipment to start your own business, that cost should be a $20,000 tax write-off for the IRS. You would just probably need to prorate your expenses over probably a five-year depreciation time span. But once again, consult your own tax guys. And if we recoup our initial startup money in just a few months, then that's going to be the bulk of our expenses, as our only other expenses would be gas to drive to the party location and a few minor repairs here and there as items break. And while your client is renting these items for multiple hours at a time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be present the entire duration. If they're renting it for four hours, drive and set everything up, and then you could theoretically go home for a couple of hours until it's time for the event to be over, or go grab some lunch, shopping, catch a movie, etc. The amount of actual involvement from you is going to be relatively limited outside of the initial setup and teardown, and even that's pretty limited. Once you have all the equipment, you probably wouldn't need to do a whole lot on the advertising end. Obviously, register your business with Google so that your company shows up in a local Google search, and it would probably be worthwhile to spend a few bucks to have a knowledgeable and competent SEO specialist optimize your website so that your page ranks higher in Google searches. Your wrap trailer will obviously generate a lot of attention as you're driving it to and from locations, but one thing that might be worth trying is if you have a local party store, like a party city or something like that, you might talk to the owner of the store and see if you can put up a sign advertising your services somewhere right next to the checkout counter. I would have a QR code on the advertisement that leads them to your website, and you could set it up where anyone who visits your site through that link gets, I don't know, like a 10% discount or something like that a promo code of some sort, and then I would have a portion of the revenue from any of those sales go directly to the owner of that party city location. This way, it doesn't cost you anything out of pocket to advertise your company, and the store owner is incentivized to let you actually hang your display inside their store since they're getting a kickback from any sales that that ad generates. Now, while this is something that you could easily use as a side hustle on nights and weekends, the enormous income potential could quickly turn this side hustle into your main hustle and replace your traditional eight to five job entirely. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more videos on all things finance related. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.